Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Space Core Barbecue, aka Champ Car 2, and uh, today I'm gonna be making a little bit of a different video for you guys. I'm gonna show you how you can play any Super NES game on your computer just like I do. Alright, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to this webpage here, emuparadise.me. E M U Paradise.me. Next, you're going to click on the emulator section, which I have opened in this tab right here. And then from there, obviously, you're going to select Super Nintendo Entertainment System, SNES. Again, I have a tab open up here, so I'm just going to click that. Um, choose a platform you want to emulate on. Obviously, we're going to do Windows because I'm on a Windows computer. From there, it'll take you to this site, or this page, with a whole bunch of... Oh, hey, buddy. Those are some nice eyes. It's going to take you to this web page with a whole bunch of different emulator options. The one that I like the best is, as soon as we get down there, ZSNES. So, I'm going to click here. This will take you to the ZSNES homepage. Um, you can read all about it, or you can be like me and just dive headfirst into it. Latest version, Windows. If I screw up, I apologize. I don't think I actually downloaded it this way the first time. Download ZSNES from SourceForge. Okay, your download will start in 5, 4, 3. 3, 3, 3, 3, 1! Whoa! Look at that. Your download will start in 0 seconds. Well, then it better start. There we go. Depending on how long this takes, I may pause it until the download's finished. I think I just might do that, because my internet's a tad sketchy, shall we say. I'll be right back once this is finished. Check out who's back. It's me. Download's finished. Um, your download will not show up with this one in the parentheses after it. That's just because I already have a copy on my, machi my machine. It's not a problem. Okay, now we're going to go to my desktop. And you're going to put want to put that somewhere on your desktop. It doesn't really matter where. So now, let's open up this archive. Actually, let's not open up that archive. I apologize. Get out of here, WinRAR. You're going to want to create a folder for ZSNES. You can put it pretty much anywhere. But you're going to want this because wherever you put everything there's going to be a lot of files that get created inside this folder once it starts up let's maximize this I'm going to create two more folders one of them I'm going to call games the other I am going to call new folder saves. Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to double click the WinRAR zip archive. If you don't know what WinRAR is or if you don't have it, I will leave a link in the description to get a download of it. We're going to extract to... Oh hey, look at all my folders. Beautiful. Um, me? All sorts of stuff. Desktop? ZSNES tutorial. We're going to extract there. And we're going to sit and watch it extract the files. Well, I get a drink of Gatorade. Okay, so now that that's done. Oh, sorry. Now that that's done, you have your ZSNES client. Sweet. Open that bad boy up. And one time use a reminder, please be sure to read the documentation. Nah. Alright, so we don't have any games yet. So let's close out of ZSNES because we can't do anything with it yet. Let's close out of that too because it's slowing down my computer, shall we? Alright, so we're going to go back into our browser. We're going to close all this garbage. And we're going to go back to the emuparadise.me page. 
we're going to click on ROMs, ISOs, and games. We're going to what we're going to eventually end up doing is download a game ROM, which ROM stands for read only memory. Basically this is what was in the actual cartridge that the ZSNES emulator reads. Let's wait for that to load. Alright. Now we're going to scroll down at some point once this decides to load. Uh, let's go. Come on. You can do it. And here it'll show you all the different consoles, arcade systems, handheld devices, computers, all sorts of stuff. Um, we, however, want not Nintendo Entertainment System. Just, you might get tricked by that. I was the first time. We want Super Nintendo ROMs. So we're going to click on that link. And it's going to load for a while. Alright, now, look at all those titles. So, if there's a specific game that you want to play, you could probably just search it up at the top, or you can click on the letter here. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to download one of these games here, because I don't feel like doing that. I'm not entirely sure what Earthbound is. Let's download that one. Maybe I'll do a playthrough with that sometime later this week. So you're going to click on that download. Wait for everything to load. Take a drink of whatever's at your desk right now. Eat some pumpkin seeds because there's some pumpkin seeds sitting right in front of me. Alright, so now we're at the Earthbound's ROM page. We're going to go down to Download Links. I think you can just click this. Maybe not. Maybe not. You must say. I don't know. Um. Oh. Come on now. A wacky, challenging RPG, RPG that has you playing as a small child from Onnit, a small town in Eagle Land. Your planet's been targeted by. Okay, we're to the games I may like, which is just above the download links. So yeah, if you click on the download links link up top, it'll take you to here. Direct download links. Download Earthbound. Um, probably want to go for the USA versions, unless you're... unless you speak the language of whatever place... Uh, whatever place other than USA that the download link says. I'm sorry, I don't know where I was going with that. So now you'll be here. As you can see, people really like this game. So this is a download link. We could go to deposit files. Um, or you can just direct download from this website, which is what I usually do. Just, I find it a whole lot easier to just do a direct download from right here. Also, something I didn't mention. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, at the first page, and click on the character from Metroid, whose name escapes me, I believe you can get rid of all these obnoxious ads for a month, I think. And they said that it's just kind of their way of thanking you for using their service. My phone's buzzing in my pocket, let's just ignore that. Okay, so now you have your game file. So we're going to take this, and we're going to drag this into our games folder. But wait, you thought we were ready to play a game. Silly. We're going to close our Google Chrome window because we have no more need for it. This is at least the second time you've given me the one-time user reminder. Sir.
Sir, please. Sir, sir. Come on! What you playing at? Oh, okay. So you're gonna have this screen. What you're gonna want to do is first you're gonna want to go to config input, I believe. Yeah. So here is where you figure out your keys. All you have to do to change them is you click there. Um, for up, we're gonna use the up arrow. For down, we're gonna use the down arrow. I believe up, down, left, right are bound to the actual arrows themselves. So I've always found that to work out for me. So I don't really change those. Start, enter, select, spacebar, A, B, X, and Y. I use uh, W, A, S, D. I find that to work. Um, most games don't use left and right, but let's make that Z and X just because. So there you go. Now you have your keyboard set up. Let's look at other options, shall we? Um, don't know what MMX support is. Uh, you can do this if you want it to run better on your machine. That just makes it higher priority than the rest of your processes. Um, I guess you can show an FPS counter. I guess you can show a clock. I've never really messed with this. Yeah, you can show a clock. Um, video. These are all the different ways you can get it to set up. Like, for example, if I wanted it to be bigger, I could choose 1024 by 896. Choose set, and I believe it will change it to a larger thing. Except, please don't. It's very large and out of my screen now. Uh, please stop. Please go back to normal. Where were you before? Uh, I think you were here. Please go back to how you were. Thank you. Oh no. Except now I don't think I can drag the win. Are you kidding me? Okay, there we go. Alright, anyways. Yeah, that's how you can change your videos. Um, set up paths. You need to go here for your saves. You want to navigate to the file or the folder that your saves are going to be in click here can highlight that copy it and paste it into here you're going to have to do control v i believe because you can't right click so you select that and do control v snapshots i believe that's just screenshots so let's also make a folder called snapshots I'm not entirely sure how to do a screenshot in this game, in this emulator, but why not? Snapshots. This Doing this will prevent your root folder that the ZSNES game is in from getting completely cluttered and overwhelmed. So yeah, copy, select, sorry, come on, select this, control V, okay. Now, we're almost done. We're going to click on game. We're going to click on load. Um, click on that until you get back to your C drive. And then what you're going to want to do is scroll down to users. Select your name. Or whatever your account is named, in my case. You're going to want to go to desktop. Um, just kidding. This is not what I wanted. Uh, occasionally this doesn't work well. Users. Me. That's not me. Stop. Stop. Me. Desktop. This is not what I wanted. It should show up for some reason it's not working for me, but if you go to desktop or wherever you have the file, double click or yeah, double click your folder name which is ZSNOS tutorial and then your games will show up there. Unfortunately, this isn't working for me. But at that point, a game will show up here. 
and you can double click that game name to start up the game. So unfortunately we weren't able to figure or finish up the job because it wasn't working for me. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like, a comment, or whatever, you know. Or you can just leave a dislike and I might go cry in the corner of my room. So, until next time, this has been Space Corps Barbecue, aka Champ Car 2. See ya. Hello again, ladies and gents. I'm gonna hope that I found a way to circumvent the problem. Because I was sitting there and thinking, wow, I'm an idiot for not trying this. So let's, once again, open up our ZSNES. Let's not add it to a... Let's not right-click it. Let's open it up like that. There we go. Okay. We're going to go into game load again. But this time, what we're going to do is we're going to go into games, which has our game that we put in it. I'm going to copy this file path like I did before, and I'm going to... Nope. Let's not do it that way. Okay. Um, no? Come on now. Hmm? Oh. Maybe. That's what I was doing wrong. Okay, I apologize. You're not going to copy this, but you are going to look at this, and... Oops. Whatever it says in there, behind each slash. So you see how I'm at C slash right now? What we're going to do is we're going to go double click on next. We're going to click on users. Then my account name dot computer name. Then desktop. And then you're going to, or whatever, wherever you put your folder. So we're going to go c slash users account name dot computer name desktop season as tutorial games look at that look what we did and if you did everything right it should start up that nasty text at the bottom is not permanent like you just saw it'll go away I have no intentions of playing this, but just to show you that everything's working right. Whoa. Earthbound. The war against Gygus. It looks like something out of War of the Worlds. Anyways, yeah, everything's working. Well. And again. I would do my outro, but you already heard it, so... Bye!